Welcome to the Electronic Church of God of Arizona and the Lord's Care Ministry. Today is May 8th, the third work day of the week, the day that we should call it Tuesday. That's what the Galdorian calendar calls it, so we might as well. Well, brethren, time to get right over into the Lord's Care Ministry. A year to search for knowledge and truth, day 129 of the year 2012. Today's little study is the faith to preserve. The faith to preserve. Brethren, I suggest you write down the chapter and verses that we give you so that you can go back to your own Bible, study the whole context at your own leisure. Okay, let's get right on over. Oh, by the way, you can use the pause button down in the corner here to start and stop this video study as we go along. So that you'll be able to open up your own Bible, read chapter and verse with us. Well, with that, let's get right into the, the faith to preserve. And to do that, we're going to start it out in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. Because you have kept my command to preserve. Perseverance means more than endurance. More than simply holding on until the end. A saint's life in the hand of God is like a bow and arrow in the hands of an archer. God is aiming at something the saint cannot see. But our Lord continues to stretch and strain, and every once in a while the saint says, I cannot take any more, yet God pays no attention. He goes right on stretching until the purpose is in sight, and then he lets the arrow fly. Entrust yourself to God's hands. Is there something in your life for which you need perseverance right now? Maintain your intimate relationship with Jesus Christ through the perseverance of faith. Proclaim as Job did. In Job chapter 13 and verse 15. Though he slay me, yet I will trust him. Faith is not something weak and pitiful emotion, but is strong and vigorous confidence built on the fact that God is holy love, even though you cannot see him right now and cannot understand what he is doing. You know him. Disaster occurs in your life when you lack the mental composure that comes from establishing yourself on the eternal truth that God is holy love. Faith is a supreme effort of your life. Throw in yourself with abandon and total confidence upon God. God ventured he is all in Jesus Christ to save us, and now he wants us to venture our all with total abandonment confidence in him. There are areas in our life where the faith has not worked in us as yet, placed still untouched by the life of God. There were none of those places in Jesus Christ's life. And there are to be none in ours. Jesus prayed in John chapter 17 and verse 3. This is eternal life that they may know you. The real meaning of eternal life is a life that can face anything it has to face without wavering. If we will take up this view... Life will become one great romance, a glorious opportunity of seeing wonderful things all the time. God is disciplining 
us to get us into the essential place of power. Take from my heart, Heavenly Father, all hatred and malice, all envy and je jealousy, and everything which would cause a breach between me and others, that nothing may prevent the inflowing of your love to my heart and its outflowing towards others. Brethren, in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 14 we read, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Lord, I believe a rest remains. In Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 9, there is remaining a rest to the people of God. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. We just had a little lesson on faith and perseverance. First, you have the faith to strengthen you so that you can have perseverance. Brethren, if you want to see the kingdom and have eternal life with the Father and the Son, get down on your knees and repent of following the tradition of men. Ask for forgiveness for not following his word. And if you ask the Father and the Son to bring the Spirit within you, he will get rid of all doubt. He will strengthen your faith so that you can have that perseverance. Ask him to forgive you if of the traditions of men that make void the word of God. That leads on that there broad path of destruction mentioned in Matthew chapter 7 verses 13 and 14. Where it also tells you on that narrow path that leads to this kingdom and eternal salvation. And if you was on your knees and you truly want the change in your heart, they will heal you, hear you, and grant you that prayer. And while you're on your knees, brethren, ask for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of that love letter he has given to you. And that love letter is found in your own Bible. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.